So hello and welcome back. We're back at the Royal Mint again. It's a lot colder and not as nice weather as last time, but we're here to get some Nutcracker Strike Your Own Coins. So there's a little sign. And we're going to go that way and get in. So unfortunately my audio didn't sound amazing on most of these clips so um, I'll just have to uh, talk over it but this is literally around the corner from the car park as you walk in. I just wanted to show you the barbed wire and everything around it because it is quite um, imposing, it's a bit scary walking in there all these barbed wires and then this, the building is absolutely stunning itself um, once you get past the barbed wire and all the fences. We've got the little Sean the sheep, he's very cute, I really like him, I wouldn't mind having him in my collection. And they're really pushing that Great British 10p coin hunt as well. Uh, the grommet with a load of pennies on it. I was trying to get, have a guess how many pennies might be on that, but let me know in the comments how many you think are on there. Because it's a fair old chunk of them. And the Penny Lane Penny Car. Again, really cool. Some really, really old coins on there as well. Um, I didn't I don't think I zoom in too much into the coins themselves, but that was pretty neat to see. And then I went on the tour, and this is the end of the tour because you unfortunately can't film on the tour, but that's just the um, the Mint, the Tower Hill, and the Tower of London where the mint is, Mints were. And then this is just boxes, loads of money, absolutely tons of it. Um, <laughs> if you had a forklift truck, you could make a fortune going to this place. And then I really like this. So they've got like all the designs of some of the coins, but then the one there, I can zoom in so you can see, that's the one I want. I'd love to have that coin in my collection. And I think these are just the artists on the wall there. And then there was this funny old machine here. I, we were trying to figure out what it was. It was said it was a reducing machine. So whether it takes it from like the big circular pa uh, circular patterns which I showed you on the wall um, to condense it down into a smaller version maybe. And then this one again, not quite sure what it was. So if those of you that have been there, let me know because the second time I've been there, I can't figure it out. And the Olympic medals, off to the side of this, they actually had a little... A circular disc you could pick up to sort of see how heavy the um, medals are and it was amazing to see sort of how heavy especially the gold one holy moly you have to have some some strength to pick that up I would imagine and then this is just a whole bunch of medals um, in a display cabinet they looked really awesome all the medals that they created the Royal Mint I think they said on the tour that it was they, they create they do a lot of them apart from the Victoria Cross which is done by the Queen's um, Carp carpenters, carp carvers or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the term for someone who creates medals is. Um, but yeah, they were quite stunning. Pretty amazing stuff. And then the gold Frankenstein £2 coin. Oh my goodness, do I want one. So badly. If I was ever going to buy one, but you can see the price there. A little bit out of my price bracket. And then as I was walking out the gift shop, spotted these. Ah oh man, that could have been £300 down the drain. That could have, because they're about £99 each. And then it was time to go home. So um, I hope you enjoyed this bit. And what we'll do now is just get into uh, the loot I brought back with me. So uh, that's my Royal Mint uh, tour again. So that's the second time I've been to the Royal Mint. And I just want to say that it, it was fantastic. Even the second time around going through the tour, um, they covered other uh, different things. I guess each tour guide has their own sort of spin on it. So it was really interesting to hear um, another tour guide's point of view. So uh, you're probably dying to know what I brought back. So um, I did go with, uh, I took a friend along with me because uh, Patrick wasn't free and my dad wasn't available. So I had to take someone with me to bring, to get some more of the Strike Your Owns to bring back. Um, so I did get, I brought back five of these. Um, so one I've kept, one I gave to Patrick, one I gave to my dad, which leaves me two more spares so um i'll show you what it looks like come in these cool little pouches i'm not quite sure what i feel about the pouches you can't see the coin until you take it out but oh well so this is the is this the proof of the strike your own yeah i haven't actually pulled this out to have a look yet so it just goes to the, the specifics of it so it's a five pound coin cooper nickel brilliant uncirculated Blah, 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 blah. Signed by Jody Clark and Harry Brockway. That's cool. So let's pop that back in before I lose it. Let's have a look at the coin. So there it is. That's the obverse. It was dust, but that's on the outside, thankfully. Five pounds. Very, very pretty. And then that's the design itself. Christmas 2018, 
the Nutcracker. It's quite a cool design. It's not my favourite. My favourite is the Frankenstein one. It just makes me wonder what's going to be the next one. And when they're going to change it, because this is a Christmassy one. So they're going to do Christmassy ones in the new year? Maybe for January. Maybe February. That's cool. I'd quite like to see some of the new £2 coins could strike your own, like the RAF ones or... Um, I'm just trying to think. Like a pad the Paddington. Maybe they'll do a um, Beatrix Potter one for Easter. Get some of us back there and having a look again. And then this one should just be exactly the same. There we go. Very cool. So I've got two of them. So these I'm going to keep for future giveaways. So I've still got my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So you can go along. I don't like that. So you can go along and enter that if you haven't already. I must say I've been absolutely bombarded with um, entries. So I normally get, I don't know, maybe 100 comments a day on a good on a busy day. Um, whereas when that video went up, I had 550 comments in a day. So I, I'm a little bit behind on catching up on replying to you guys. So I apologize for the, for the wait, but I will get around to you all. Um, I'm trying to, because normally when I had to give, have a giveaway, I would... Um, I would pick a day and then I would spend that day moving the names onto a spreadsheet to cut, or cut them all out and keep track of the questions uh, but I'm trying to do it as as we go, as the days go by so that's why I'm a little bit behind so some other knick-knacky bits I got so this mm, I didn't really want this but um, I had a pound coin and I wanted 10p in change so it was 90p so I bought it and unbelievably I just got a normal 10p out of the till I was like what? Um, and they had the um, 10p exchange, so you can exchange a normal 10p for an alphabet 10p. Now, I plan to get there with about half an hour to spare, so I could have a mosey round, I could have a coffee, and then go on the tour. Um, but by the time I got there with the traffic, um, we, I only had 10 minutes, there was a massive queue for the exchange, so I thought, oh, I'll do that when I get back out. And after we've gone through the tour, after I've gone through the museum again, um, unfortunately, they, they had stopped doing the exchange. I was like, no, but oh well. Best postcard. Which can I'll keep um, for a future giveaway? Make a note. I'll write, write you a note on that if that's what you want. Um, and another postcard. I really think that. I, I really think this is cool. So when the penny dropped for Newton, is really cool because um, Sir Isaac Newton was the master of the Royal Mint for a long time. And from the talk, I just said it's um, he sort of revolutionised the accuracy of the coins as well and really cracked down on the forgers. Um, but no. I thought it was cool, and again, I'll send that yeah, as a note. Got a fridge magnet. Everyone loves a fridge magnet, so that's cool. Um, little pamphlet. So I guess this just goes through everything they've got there. So you can pause it if you want to read any of that. That's quite cool. So that just shows the um, the layout of it, and then. Now, I keep telling myself I'm not going to buy these because the problem is I've got a obsessive collector's mentality. And if I get one, I will want them all. But I couldn't help myself. And I got the Bunk Frankenstein. And I really, really want to open it and have a look inside. But I know I shouldn't. I, was t I went in with the mindset that I was going to get the... RAF ones, so there's five of them, £10 a pop, 50 quid. I thought, oh, maybe next time. So I treated myself to the Frankenstein one because it's my favourite £2 coin. And again, there's rumours it might not be circulated, which I'd be gutted about because I'd love to find one of these in the wild. But there, it was quite cool. So uh, you guys are always asking, would you recommend it? Definitely. Um, unfortunately, for those of you that don't live very close, luckily it's only about two hours away from me, so it's not the worst um, travel ever and it can, can make a day of it um, but for those of you I know a lot of you are up in Scotland on the discord I, I do feel sorry for you because it is a heck of a trick especially, trip, especially if you're after all of the strike your own I mean I'm kind of gutted I never went um, when they had the Isaac Newton one because Isaac Newton being my favorite 50p that's that's sort of top of my list of coins that I would love to be able to get a strike your own one of but for now I can live with the one with the two that I've got but I will be back the next time they change the strike their own so um i'll probably make a video on that i'm not quite sure how i can actually you guys could help, probably help me with this because um the first time i just took a lot of pictures and just t talked over them this time i've got i, I, I tried to make a, an effort to um 
do some videos but they're very limited on what you can video and then you can't photograph or video whilst you're on the actual tour itself um but yeah you never know uh, let me know how i can make this video again next time they change the strike your own and make it a bit more interesting um uh whilst i was on the tour as well um because actually there was a couple of you that went over the weekend that i was there because you commented on the discord um let me put something back in the shots and just fiddling with my fingers here um so whilst i was i thought oh maybe well maybe i'll see one of you but it turns out you none, none, none of you were on the tour with me but they they did ask at one point you were in this room uh, they're explaining how the coins are made and they've got a wall with all the dies so the dies for those you don't know are the um things they engrave to then strike on the coin um and that's what gives it the design um and so they were, they were showing the wall of it is really impressive oh my goodness if you ever broke into the mint steal something i'd steal that wall <laughs> but um and they were showing about the Kew Gardens and she asked, has anyone got Kew Gardens? I sheepishly put my hand up and they look on people's faces, the bloodlust. And the one guy asked if I brought it with me. I was like, no, 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 no. I didn't dare tell him I, I got two because, um, yeah, I reckon I'd have been mugged in the car park otherwise. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyable. Again, the tour guide was phenomenal. Um, I think it was a lady called Judith last time and this time it was a lady named uh, Louise. Um, and again, really, really interactive, even with, with the younger kids and the adults that are coin collectors. And she seemed really um, motivated and really engaging. Uh, it sounded like she said she was a coin collector herself as well. So yeah, it was fascinating. And there was Cheeky Chappy in the actual room, uh, the, the, or the warehouse where they, actually, where they actually make the coins, chucking coins at the window. And he came up to show us some Paddington, the Paddington Bears. You couldn't hear what he was saying because he's behind this big glass screen. Um, at one point, um, he said he had a special coin or it was it was um, the lady said oh he's got a special coin here held it up against the glass and it was just one of those chocolate coins which was it was quite funny in the moment but yeah so um i can't think of anything else to talk about with this to be honest so i guess i'll wrap it up there so let me know in the comments are you going to get one of these strike your owns um how far away are you from the royal mint how long would it take you to get there like i said only two hours for me so it's not the worst thing in the world um but um yes couldn't recommend it more so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you next time for more coins bye